All right, so today, what is it, the 6th, 9, 6, 18. Linear equations, three variables, okay? So if it's three variables, instead of x and y, it's going to be some ax plus by plus cz equals, say, d. Now, the reason I write it as a, b, c, and d is because these could be any numbers, just any numbers. Like this could be a 5, a 2, an 8, and 10. It could be any. That's why I use a, b, and c because it represents any numbers, okay? Now, if you do a system of it, then it's going to be three of these. It's going to be three different equations with x, y, and z, okay? Technically, it's going to be three planes that can intersect. Three planes, like flat surfaces, that intersect, okay? We can't graph it. That would be really hard to graph in 3D, right? So we can do the math knowing full well that the answer is an ordered triple, or the answer is sum x, y, and z, which is a point in 3D space. Now, the application of these are lots of things. Any time you have three unknowns, three unknowns, like I said, you know, for instance, you got a concert, you're selling adult tickets, children tickets, and senior citizen tickets, there's three unknowns, right? So if you have three unknowns, the applications are there with three variables. You can solve a system with three variables, which you have to have three variables, you have to have three equations. I'll say it again. If you have three variables, you have to have three equations. You can't be done without three equations. Okay? So here's what we want to do, okay? So we're going to use a matrix button in our calculus, okay? Matrix, okay? So to do this, a matrix looks like this mathematically. And a matrix will hold numbers, okay? We're going to have a matrix A, which hold the numbers in our calculator. And we can have a matrix B, which is a different matrix, can hold some numbers in our calculator, okay? Wait, is this how those people cheated on the tests and there was a big scandal about these things at one point? Can they hold them like that? Yeah, they can hold them like that, yeah, yeah. That's possible, Sasha. I don't know. Okay, turn the page. Okay, guys, are you with me so far? Am I going too fast? Okay. So we want to make a matrix. A matrices, matrices, that's the plural, they hold numbers for us in the calculator. Okay. Okay, so turn the page. Okay. All right, what I have in example one is I have x, y, z. I have three variables, and I have three equations. So what I want to do is this. I'm going to let the calculator hold on to the, into the numbers for me. So I'm going to make a matrix A. Matrix A is going to be my 1 for my 1x. Okay, write this down. Okay, mm -hmm. matrix A, 1 for my 1x, 2 for my 2y, and negative 3 for my negative 3z, okay? Equation 2, I'm going to put a 2 here for the 2x, put a 1 for the 1y, and a negative 2 for the negative 2z. I'm going to put a 4 here for the 4x, a 3 for the 3y, and a 1 for the z. Now, because we have it in that exact order, it the calculator knows this is a 1x. It knows it because it's in the x spot. It knows it's a 2y because it's in the y spot. It knows it's a negative 3, okay? So the calculator knows the x, y, and z are there, okay? We also need a matrix B, okay? Matrix B. A matrix B is going to be my answer matrix, 11, 9, and 16, okay? Now, we want the calculator to solve it because you guys saw how hard it is to do it by hand. It's a pain, isn't it? It's really hard. But the calculator can do it. So what we have to do is put these numbers into my calculator. So I'm going to find my matrix button. Okay, so my matrix button is in blue, and it's right here. You see the blue? The matrix button right there. So we're going to go second matrix. Okay, we'll go second matrix. Okay. Okay, we got that. Scoot over a little bit. Now, what I want to do 
is I want to go ahead and create matrix A. So to create and edit the same thing. So I want to edit. So I'm going to go 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 over to edit. And if I push enter, I need to create a box big enough for all of my numbers. Now this is a three by three. A is a three rows, three columns. So I need to make my box big enough. It's not big enough yet, but if I go three, enter, three, enter, it makes a box or a matrix big enough for my numbers, right? So I told the dimension, it created the matrix big enough for all my numbers. And it is a three by three because I got three rows, three columns. Thumbs up so far? Does this seem pretty easy? Okay, so now I'm just gonna put my numbers in. I'm gonna go one, enter, two, enter, negative three, enter, two, enter, one, enter, negative two, enter, four, enter, three, enter, one, enter, okay? Now, I've made matrix A, haven't I, right? So, once matrix A is made, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kick myself out of here, come back in and make B, okay? So, don't hit clear, don't hit clear, because it'll clear a number, right? Hit quit, okay, so now I'm gonna hit quit. Yeah, TJ. Uh, what are the numbers again? I can't see. Uh, they're the numbers from here, right? Like, you see the numbers? The right oh, so the numbers, the numbers I'm using are... Yeah, okay. quit. Okay, now I'm gonna hit don't hit don't hit clear, but hit quit. Quit is in blue, second quit. And the reason I hit quit, not clear, because if you hit clear, it clears out your numbers. You don't want that. You want quit. Now, those numbers are in my calculator. It's remembering them. They're stored in there. So now let's make matrix B. So same thing. I'm going to go make matrix B. I'm going to go to my matrix, right? So go to matrix, second matrix, right? And I want to edit B because I want to change or make or create B, okay? So I go over to edit. I want to B, right? So go to edit. So first I went to, I'll back you up. I went to matrix, right? Went to matrix. Go over to edit, because we want to edit, create, change, or whatever B. So enter. Oh, hold on. Quit. Let me go back to matrix. Yeah. Edit. And I go down to B. So I'm highlighting B, okay? And enter. And enter, yeah. Now, we got to make the box big enough for our numbers. It has three rows and one column. So I'm going to go three by one, okay? And I'll put in my numbers. Okay, my numbers for B are 11. 9 and 16. Okay. Now again, I don't want to push clear. I'm going to push quit. I'm going to push clear, push quit. Okay, so I go second, quit. I don't want to clear any numbers because that would mess me up, right? It clear the whole thing. Okay, now, what I want to do is a little bit of math. When I solve equations, when I solve equations, you don't have to write this down, just watch. If I have a 3x equals, say, 12, you know, I divide by 3, divide by 3, right? Or I'd multiply by one third, multiply by one third, right? You don't have to just watch, okay? Or I could multiply by its inverse, and that would cancel out, right? With major C's, you can't divide, divide. You have to multiply by its inverse. So we're going to do this. We are going to take, in our calculator, we want to write this. Matrix A inverse times matrix B. And that will solve for X, Y, Z. Write that down. And I'm going to show you how to put that new calculator, okay? So we're going to go matrix A inverse times matrix B. Put enter. We're going to answer, okay? So here's how it works, okay? A and B are already in my calculator, right? They're in there. They're stored. So I'm just going to find them, okay? So let's do that, okay? So I go back into matrix under names because I have a name for A. I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to change it. This time I'm going to go into names, okay? So I'm going to go names, okay? And I push enter. Boom. A is sitting on my screen, right? Can we do that again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, quit. So clear. So if I go back to my matrix, right? Right where it's sitting. I don't do anything. It's on names and on A. It's right where we want it. Okay. And I'm, so if I, it's on names, names of A, I'm going to push enter. Boom. 
Now I need this little inverse symbol. So the inverse symbol is right there. See the negative one? See the negative one right there? Underneath the math, x negative one, I hit that, okay? Okay, I hit that. So you do the negative one, which is right there, right? You want to hit that button right there. Now hit times. So we hit times, okay, and times. Now I gotta find matrix B, which is in my calculator, right? I need to find matrix B. Go back to matrix. Go down to B. It says it's an error. No, I got it. Okay. Okay, hold on, let's check it out. Enter, enter. I don't know, I got an answer. I got an answer. So my ordered triple or my answer is a point. So all three planes intersect in the point two, three, negative one. Now if you get an error, price, sometimes when you get an error, it has to do with that you might have typed some numbers in wrong. It's really easy to miss a negative when you type numbers in. Does that make sense? It's really easy to put numbers in the wrong place, but if you put the numbers in correctly, you should have gotten two, three, negative. Thumbs up if you got that answer. I want to see. Thumbs up. Wait, get that answer. Um, yeah, you got it right. You got it right, Victor. Okay, so let's practice one more. Okay, so why don't you guys try number five, okay? Okay, number five, just try it on your own, okay? Okay. So I'm going to make my matrix A, two, three, negative one, one, negative three, one, three, one, negative four, right? Matrix B, nine, negative six, 31, okay?